haven't even stood on a skateboard since the last episode, so uh, let's get it. I'm just I'm gonna duck down the shelf. I just gotta grab some milk for my coffee. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose the lot. Then we'll head down and we'll see how wet the ground is. There's so much fog this morning. It rained a little bit last night. Everything's wet. My bearings are actually still rusty from the last session. So what we'll do is we'll go home for a bit. We might just switch over these bearings and then we'll be good to go in an hour or two when it clears up a bit. Three days later. All right, we uh, finally made it back down. I uh, just got to switch over those rusty bearings. As you can see there, they've seen better days. It took me about 20 minutes to pop this bearing off. Uh, to be honest, I nearly called it a day right here. I was like, this is ridiculous. Finally pops off. So I'm just gonna kind of talk over the top and I might help explain what, what's going on anyway. So like I said, it's the first time I've been on a board um, since the last episode, so that's two or three months. Um, and my legs just feel like jelly, just when you don't really have any balance. Um, so it took me a little bit, a few warm-up ollies. But this is the problem with having such a big break is I come back and get back into it and I've got to relearn everything that I've just learnt. So it's um, or I've got to get comfortable with everything I've already learned again. These fakies look alright, but I was feeling really unbalanced, um, so I just did a few of them just to try and get that, that comfort back. This guy. So there's a couple of reasons I don't really like doing this at skate parks. One is because I'm just skating flat ground and as soon as there's other people I kind of I feel a bit greedy just taking up half the park to skate flat cement. Um, even if it's just scooters or bike riders or anything else, still, you know, I'm like, you could skate anywhere flat, you don't have to use the whole park. Um, and the second reason is because it's so hard to resist the temptation to just go and skate the park. But that's what I did as a kid, you know, it's like you just skip the basic stuff, you skip the stuff you don't really want to do and you just focus on 
the fun crap, which is all good and well, but you, you kind of get stuck. Um, so here I'm skating past this little ledge over and over, and I'm like, man, I really just want to start grinding that. But I'm super committed to getting some of these just really basic flat ground tricks for solo in the book so that in the future I can actually have a much bigger bag of tricks. And so this is a perfect example right here. I've always been comfortable frontside. But backside, I've never done it. So turn it into your body. I just never practiced it, and so I never really got comfortable with it. Anyway, I try all the 180 variations. I don't think I land everything. It's super hot, it's about 1pm, I'm out of shape and I'm starting to wear down pretty quickly. I really wanted to learn shovets in this session. Um, I've always been able to do pop shovets, but I've never been able to do those whippy little shoves that, you know, just the shoves that don't pop. I've never tried them too much, but they always seem to over rotate. I don't know if I flick it too much. I feel like I need to jump higher, but if I jump higher, my flick's harder. Um, But yeah, I was pretty wrecked by the time I got to this stage, so I just tried a few, and then just to cap things off. Um, I used to love kickflips, probably haven't even tried a kickflip in, in about a year now. Um, so I just wanted to get one of those down. videos a week but yeah really quick skate today super hot super unconditioned uh, it was good to just get back out there though even if it was just a quick one